Okay guys, I'm very late to the party on this one, I just watched Where the Crawdads Sing last night, and originally I was not going to make this video because I am 6 weeks late, but after seeing the reviews for this movie on the various sites, I am very surprised by how low some of these ratings are. Just to give you guys some context, before I watch a movie, I never look at reviews. The reason why is because I want to be as impartial as possible, and I don't want to go in with any bias. And after watching a movie, a fun little game I'll play with myself is guessing the movie's rating on IMDb, Rotten Tomatoes, and Roger Ebert. After I watched this movie, I thought the ratings would be significantly better than what they were, and the movie seems like it might just be the most underrated movie of the year. But without any further ado, let's get into my review of Where the Crawdads Sing. Let me preface this review by clarifying that I've never read the book and I had no clue what the movie was about before watching it. I had seen the trailer a long time ago, but I'd forgotten what it had, so going into this movie I didn't know what to expect. I didn't even know that Delia Owens out of all people wrote the book. I also hadn't looked at reviews, like I mentioned before, so going in I was completely blind, which is the way I love to watch movies. I'm saying this because I can't compare and contrast the movie to the book, and because I'm going to be judging this movie solely as a film. So me not having read the book might be better for this specific instance of me reviewing the movie. But with that out of the way, let's talk about the things that I liked about this movie. Where the Crawdads Sing is a movie that is heavily about nature, so you would expect this movie to look beautiful, and it does. It deals a lot with swamps and marshes, but it finds the beauty in those settings, which is a really refreshing thing to see. I feel like most of the time we think of a marsh or a swamp, we think of something that is creepy, which is the perfect setting for a monster movie. But this film makes the location beautiful, and almost a character in and of itself, and it serves as a therapy for the main character. I love how this movie shows that the marsh doesn't just have to be some disgusting, humid wetland, but like any other environment, it also has its beauty. The second thing I want to talk about is how engaging this movie is. Going into this movie, I had no idea what I was walking into, but I was expecting this movie to be a murder mystery. However, after watching this movie, I will say that it is far more of a drama than a whodunit, and that is by no means a bad thing. I'm not going to fault this movie for not fitting the genre that I thought it would be. The drama aspects of this movie are solid, and the film has a story that sticks to the themes and overall message, which I really appreciate. I think Where the Crawdads Sing is a very engaging movie overall that interests the viewer enough to care about its characters. I will say that the first half of the movie is a bit slow because it really just is exposition, but it's by no means horrible or unbearably slow. But when the movie picks it up in the second half, it does hook you in a lot more. The movie also has some great acting, and most of that compliment belongs to Daisy Edgar Jones. She brings out the most of Kaya's character, and the other actors do a wonderful job too. Not every performance is perfect, some of the lines and acting seem cliche at times, but the bigger performances are solid. David Strathairn, who plays Tom Milton, does a great job, and throughout the movie, I couldn't help but draw parallels between him and Gregory Peck, who played Atticus Finch. It's probably because of how alike their characters are, with both being very morally righteous lawyers who are defending social outcasts. I would say that Milton in this story is essentially Atticus Finch. Instead of defending Tom Robinson, he is defending Boo Radley, since Boo's character has a lot more in line with Kaya. But the performances overall with the main characters and some of the more important side characters are charming and strong, and they help the film keep you immersed. The last few moments of this movie were the best part for me because it leaves the audience with a unique perspective that the audience can sympathize with. This movie takes a look at the world in a very different way, and it calls into question a lot of practices and societal truths that we take for granted. I'm not going to try to give away the ending in case you haven't seen this movie, but the ending leaves the audience with something to think about and I love that. Now let's move on to my dislikes, and to be honest there really aren't many. The only few nitpicks that I have of this movie are that some minor details seem to be left unanswered, and the book probably explains those, but the movie still has a few loose ends. But really, it's nothing major or something that breaks the narrative, so I won't take off for it. The other thing that slightly bothered me was the pacing. Like I mentioned before, the first half was a bit slow compared to the rest of the movie, but that might just be because I usually don't like romances. So given that I might have a subconscious bias against this type of genre, I won't knock off for it either. The only real criticism that I have for this movie is that it doesn't give us anything new. Where the Crawdads Sing is a solid movie overall, but it doesn't really have any risks or fresh plot elements that set it apart. 
And this is without a doubt the biggest factor going against this movie. It doesn't really do anything groundbreaking or new. It's still a very solid movie, but the fact that it doesn't give us anything substantially original makes the film all the more forgettable. With that said, let's move on to my score. Where the Crawdads Sing is a very solid movie. It has some great performances, cinematography, and overall good writing. The only issue with this movie is that it lacks in giving us anything new. But with that said, looking at the reviews that this movie has, I am still shocked by how low they are. Where the Crawdads Sing is a very decent movie that deserves some more love. I think so far IMDb is the closest to getting it right with its score, but it's still lower than where I would personally place this movie. I'm giving Where the Crawdads Sing a very solid 3 out of 4. It does a good job in achieving what it sets out to do, but this movie just plays it too close to the chest in some ways, and the plot is really nothing we haven't seen before. I wouldn't say this movie is the best or distinguished in its genre, but it is still worth watching in theaters. If you have some spare change and feel like watching a movie, Where the Crawdads Sing will not disappoint. That's all I have for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please let me know what you guys think about the movie in the comments below, and if you've read the book, please let me know how this adaptation was. These videos can take a while to make, and I'm a small channel, so all the support you guys provide really does mean a lot. And if you made it this far, as always, thank you, I love you, and I genuinely hope that you have a great rest of your day.